now being quashed. He's expected to return home later this month. A terminal cancer sufferer from North Lincolnshire says that he wants to see a nationwide ban on sunbeds before he dies. Mark Carter from Messingham has stage four melanoma, and although he's never used a sunbed himself, he says that those who do are dicing with death. Amanda White has more. Mark Carter developed skin cancer after a career in the Merchant Navy left his fair skin exposed to the hot sun. Since being diagnosed with melanoma, he's discovered many of his fellow sufferers blame sunbed use for their life-threatening condition. Well, I'm campaigning for a sunbed ban because, in my opinion, sunbeds are lethal. I was shocked at how many, particularly young ladies, have got melanoma because of their prior, previous sunbed use. Every year in the UK, more than 13,000 people are diagnosed with melanoma, a type of cancer that starts in the skin. There are four times more cases than 30 years ago, and it's one of the most common cancers in younger people. Cancer Research UK says using sunbeds definitely increases your risk of melanoma, but the Sunbed Association has told us no definite link has ever been proven, though they warn against overexposure. Before you even step into the tanning booth at this salon, you get changed out here in this little anteroom and the walls are covered in public information including particular warnings if like me you've got fair hair and freckly skin. If used responsibly then some beds are safe for you. We use all the correct measures um, for example the 0 0.3 tubes they've got they haven't got as much of the UVB in them um, so that does prevent the risk of burning and skin cancers as well. The current Miss Hull is a sunbed user. I've burnt in the sun before, badly. But every time I've been on the sunbed, I haven't burnt. I, like I said, I've used it in a safe way. I've followed the rules and guidelines that they've given me, and I don't see a problem at all. But Cancer Research UK is worried, and while the charity isn't seeking a ban, it calls for tighter regulation. What we would like to see is the government going further in England to bring us into line with Scotland and Wales with a ban on unstaffed um, sunbed salons and also making sure that people who are using sunbeds are being provided with information so that they know the dangers. Mark is living, or in fact dying proof, that you can get melanoma without ever using a sunbed. But he still wants to see them banned. You've got your whole life ahead of you. If you start using sunbeds, you could end up dead at the age of 29. They're just too dangerous. The risk for melanoma, you know, is, 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 is just too great. Mark Carter ending that report by Amanda White. Well, joining me now is Gary Lippman, who is the chairman of the Sunbed Association, which represents the industry. Mr Lippman, good evening to you. Good evening, Peter. Mark says you're dicing with death with sunbeds. Do you agree with him? Oh, well, it's not about the sunbeds. It's about overexposure in general. What we've got to avoid is burning. And I just ask you to look at any beach on the Mediterranean and see the people that are woefully overexposing themselves. I represent the Sunbed Association and our members follow a very strict and robust code of practice to ensure that any members of the public that come in are properly screened and we let, make let sure Let me just that ask you this. I mean, Cancer Research, the NHS, the World Health Organization, they all say there is a definite link between melanoma and sunbeds. Um, why do you think that they're wrong? What they said is that there's a relative risk. That's not an absolute risk. And quite frankly, um, when you, when you, when you uh, take the word risk, there is absolutely no risk when you're sunbathing on a sunbed um, with responsibility. Uh, any of our members will make sure that people don't burn. Tanning is an entirely natural process. It's burning we've got to avoid, and it's the burning that gives the risk, not the tanning. One study here published in the British Medical Journal says 100 deaths a year from melanoma, direct result of sunbed use. Do you accept that? Actually, you've misread the title and not looked at the content. What they said is relatively few people are at risk and there is absolutely um, no reason why any sunbed should, be, or sunbed should be banned. That was an well, absolute theoretical yeah, but, uh, but maximum. But also we've been in touch today with the Leeds University report that, and they say to us that you uh, are using misleading quotes, being using it out of context and it's misleading. Do, do you accept Peter, that? What we're doing is actually reading from their own report and their own conclusion. They, they say you, you, are, you are misleading people. You're taking it out of context. 
I take their conclusion, I read it in, in its entirety. You can't take a conclusion that they gave out of context. It's their own conclusion, Peter. Okay, we'll leave it there. Mr. Lippmann, good to talk to you tonight. Mark, Thank you very on this much. One. Uh, do you think that uh, some beds should be uh, banned, which is uh, what Mark wants, if you'll be in touch? Look north at bbc.co.uk. The text number 81333, 81333. Start the text with the word look north as usual. Thank you for uh, watching. Still ahead tonight, plans for a